Welcome back to another Weigh-In Update. If it's your first time here, my name is Beck. Thank you so much for joining me. So as you can see by the title, it is my first Weigh-In Update of 2021. And not only that, you've got two in one because I wasn't well enough to film one last week. So I've done the two of them this week. So I'll start with last week and obviously it would be over the Christmas period. So how I did then and then I'll move on to this week. So last week I now I'm going to take you back to before Christmas, which seems like a million miles away now. So before Christmas, my weigh in was I had a weigh in the Saturday before and then my next one was meant to be Boxing Day. But because of everything that was going on in Wales, um, my consultant had already decided that we'd be weighing in on the 23rd. So our weigh in was brought forward to the, the Wednesday, which meant that for that weigh in before Christmas, we only had three days. I maintained, I was fine. And then after Christmas, obviously, for those of you that watch me regularly, you'll know that myself and everybody in my family was diagnosed with um, COVID before, not not before actually, it was on Jack's, got Jack's, Jack got his symptoms on the 25th. So he had, he had his on Christmas evening, <laughs> Christmas evening. Um, and then the rest of us just gradually followed suit. So from Christmas night um, and then all over the new year up until up until now, we're still not 100 percent, but we're getting there. Getting there slowly is, you know, it's, it's definitely taking its toll on us, but we're still here to tell the tale. And for that, I am truly grateful, especially when you see how awful some people have been with it and obviously have, have not got through their battles with it. So I am so grateful that we had it as mildly as we did. So that week I maintained, the week after that then, um, so I'm trying to think now when my next weigh-in was. So my next weigh-in, it was meant to be Boxing Day. So then my next weigh-in was New Year's Day. So my New Year's Day weigh-in, I put one pound on over the Christmas period because obviously mine went from the 23rd as well and that was my last way in before Christmas so then that one pound gain over Christmas um how was I I mean appetite wise I didn't start not eating properly I would say until probably about a week ago so over Christmas my appetite was fine it wasn't until just before the new year that the taste and our smell our taste and smell started to go so food wise, we were eating normal, um, obviously putting on only a pound from just before Christmas to the new year was absolutely, I was absolutely thrilled with that because in my previous way in over Christmas years ago, when I was doing Slimming World before, um, I think I had an eight pound gain. So I didn't consciously, I didn't consciously not eat all the Christmassy things. I just, I ate what I wanted to, when I wanted to eat it, and I didn't feel like I needed the chocolatey, treaty things that I would normally have. I mean, maybe that was a sign of us getting the symptoms and things, I don't know. But I was really pleased when I stepped on the scales and I'd only gained a pound over Christmas. So that was me last week. That was last week's weigh-in. So I put a pound on over Christmas, which, you know, is Christmas. And then this week, um, it did have an effect. Um, so for the last week, we have been just dealing with the after effects. I, I really believe it is the after effects of having it. The, just the, the tiredness, the fatigue, the the headaches, the achiness the appetite loss, the not being able to taste and smell anything. And I think that kind of impact that it has, that it's had on, on me and probably all of the family actually, because we've, we've not not been bothered to make nice things, but we haven't, certainly haven't put in as much effort into cooking meals as we normally would, because when you're not able to taste it or smell it, it really does just seem like what is the point as long as we're eating and keeping our strength up that was our main focus now i had and i'm still probably doing it because we're having such late mornings um 
because we we're up through the night and that's still happening now so for the last two days i was getting up at a reasonable time but then this morning for my zoom meeting which i ended up missing i was gutted because i didn't think i needed to set an alarm i completely missed it i didn't get up until it was 10 35 and my meeting was either nine or ten normally i would go to the nine o'clock ones but i missed it so I'm still noticing that we're not having the same meals as we would have and that obviously this week has definitely had an impact on my weight loss. So not that I'm complaining because I lost £4 this week. Now for those of you that have been following me for a while you'll know that I was getting closer to my Four Stone Award and I got it this week. So I do, <coughs> excuse me, I do feel and my lovely consultant, bless her, she made the effort. We weigh on a Friday for the Zoom meetings. So I weighed yesterday and then this morning it was the Zoom meeting. Well, as soon as that Zoom meeting finished, she must have jumped in the car and did her rounds for those of us that, that had certificates and things. And she dropped off the most beautiful card and lovely things inside it. The kids read it to me uh, do you know if they hadn't read it so many times to me today to make me a moon i'd be crying now because that's all i've been doing as well so i'm gonna pop my glasses on so i can tell you what she said well done on achieving your four stone award back you're doing so well i must be so proud of yourself love Rian. and i really am i i do feel this week like it's it's kind of i know i haven't cheated but and I have lost the weight, but I feel like obviously it's been helped by not being very well. So I don't feel like it's been this achievement on me. So even though I'm absolutely over the moon, thrilled to get this amazing award, I just feel like it's a little bit tainted this week. So, but I've got it. And all I've got to do now is just carry on and, you know, get to the next one, isn't it? Concentrate on that. So I'm, I really, I really, I, I sound really, I don't know whether I do sound ungrateful, do I? That's absolutely the way it is at the moment, isn't it? So, absolutely over the moon to get it. And like I say, on to the next award now, isn't it? So, I lost, like I say, this is, can you see that? So that's last week's, can you just focus on that? So that's last week's and this week's. So last week I put a pound on and it was over Christmas, so I was fine with that. In fact, I was more than fine with that. I was really thrilled with that. And then this week where the illness has really taken taken a hold of us, um, I've lost four pound. And I don't actually think that's too bad. I did make, I'm going to, sorry, nearly, did that, nearly didn't focus again. I, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, what was I going to say? Wherever you are, I hope you're having really good weeks. And obviously it's still very scary times at the moment. So I hope you're coping well with everything that is happening. And please remember that if ever you want to message me, then my inbox is always open. Um, whether it be on Instagram, on Facebook, however you want to, that's absolutely fine. My email address is, is linked as well on my channel info. So don't ever feel like you're alone. Um, I've noticed lots of people have switched to calorie counting. So I hope that that is going really well for you and take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.